How to create images on slides with white bars. I'll show you how to do it in a few simple steps. First, I'll show you the idea of placing images in bars. I insert a rectangle and I duplicate it, aligning them evenly from top to bottom. To maintain consistent spacing between rectangles, I use the Align, Distribute Horizontally and Distribute Vertically options. Now I select all three rectangles, copy them using Ctrl-C shortcut and go to the View tab and then click on Slide Master. This takes me to the background of my presentation. Here, logos and layout elements that should remain fixed on in normal presentation mode are inserted. I add a new layout, a blank slide, remove unnecessary placeholders and insert the three rectangles I copied earlier. So I use Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V sequence. Now I need to insert a placeholder. I do this through the Slide Master tab. What is a placeholder? It's any visible frame in Slide Master where we can enter text, insert images or any other type of content. Here we have placeholders for the slide title, footer and page number. Placeholders do not contain any content. They are frames for entering content in presentation mode. So I insert a picture placeholder adjust the frame to cover all three rectangles and position the placeholder behind them. I select the three rectangles, go to the Shape Format tab and expand the Merge Shapes option. Here I choose the Union option, making the three rectangles one object. With the Shift key pressed, I select the placeholder and then the unified rectangles. It's important to first select the placeholder, not the rectangles. Order matters. If I select the rectangles first, the entire operation will fail. So make sure to select the placeholder first. Next, I go to the Shape Format tab again and choose the Intersect option from the Merge Shapes menu and return to normal mode. I delete the previously inserted rectangles and choose the layout for the slide I created in Slide Master. Now I just click on the center of the placeholder icon and select the appropriate image. The result is quite good. Now I'll create a whole slide with a similar effect. This time, I, instead of rectangles, I will use a different shape. I modified it slightly Duplicate it and set symmetrical lengths for each. The middle one will be the longest and the ones on the edges will be the shortest. I align them in the center of the slide. Now I can group these shapes copy them go to the View tab Slide Master and paste them on a new slide. I ungroup them, go to the Shape Format tab and choose the Union option from the Merge Shapes menu. Then I repeat the process as before with the rectangles. Insert a picture placeholder, cover the entire object with it. I send the placeholder back and then select the placeholder first and then my five bars. Go to the Merge Shapes options, 
and choose the intersect function. Now I have customized picture placeholder. I close the master view, insert a new slide with my new layout, and then click on the placeholder icon to choose a new nice picture. Now let's prepare the right side of the slide. This will go much faster. I insert such shapes, but change their color to white. Strange, right? You can see them, but only for a moment. I give them a shadow. With this shadow, it doesn't look the best, so I ungroup them and give them a shadow again. I choose the shadow setting centered, although the effect is not the best, so I manually adjust the settings to make it visually lighter, better, more appealing. Oh, now it looks great. Time to find icons. In PowerPoint, we have the icons function in the insert tab. However, the icon library is not very extensive, so I use the noun project add-in. Although it's a paid service, it's a very useful for me. And no, this is not an advertisement for the noun project. No, I just use it. But if you don't create such large presentations, I think PowerPoint's icon library from the insert tab should be sufficient for you. Okay, I'm speeding up my work. Organizing. Inserting text. And here's the finished slide. How do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And until the next time,